When we had last left, Team Bald, they were continuing, yes, their adventures yet again, this time coming into contact with a mercenary of some sorts who wanted to battle hordes of gibberlings as if it were some sort of fun game full of merriment. And alas, the gibberlings fell as quickly as they came. But also there was an ogre nearby who wanted to smash, but alas, could not, was a little bit hungry, <laughs> as it turned out. And finally, the group turned further north. Yes, back to the Ankheg breeding grounds that they had, I don't know, kind of taken over and found that things were not all very well whatsoever. For indeed, local farmer Brun had his child slain and taken by the Ankeg. It was a miserable time. This is Baldur's Gate, Enhanced Edition. Be doing something useful with this time. Welcome back. <laughs> Damn, Jira. I don't think I've ever heard that one from you. Usually it's like Minsk or Imowen or, or even Dinner here. I don't think I've ever heard her say something like that. All right. There we go. Yeah, see? Okay. But, uh, yes, general viewer Nubile Reptile wrote in saying that, in fact, we might be able to talk to Farmer Brun again and do a little something-something. And also that if we want to kill more Ankegs, it should be totally cool. <laughs> Which I was playing to anyway, but hey, you know, it's good to have the confirmation that it should be a-okay. Anyway, Farmer Brun. What am I to do? Brun, this is the horde that the creatures had. It's more than we can carry and more than we could use. Do us a favor and take it off our hands, will you? I do like this sentiment, but more than we can carry, how do we bring it here, huh? <laughs> Brun, we have all we need. In fact, you'd be doing us a favor if you would take the extra 100 gold off our hands. It's a burden for us to carry. Hey, old man. We can spot you some gold here on your feet again. <laughs> Tough luck, I guess. See ya. <laughs> here, let's go with number one, because it seems like we're giving over the most amount of the money or whatever, right? Here you go. Well, if it's causing you strife to hang on to it, I suppose I could hold it for you. Thank you, strangers. I don't believe I'll see the likes of you again. Oh, we lost a ruby ring and a hundred gold. Hey, there we go. We gave Farmer Brun some gold, though we didn't want him to think it was charity. He's a very proud man. Oh, okay. Was that the idea? He, he wouldn't have accepted it if we just openly said, here, take it. You want it? You've got it. Fair enough. Okay. Farmer Brun, you should ask more of the local government. <laughs> okay, let's head on out over here. Good, good, good. Back through Ankheg territory. Who else may wait out here? Oh, there's another farm. Good God. Wow, and a bunch of children. I think children. I don't know. No, these look like adults. A bunch of adults out here just ready to get eaten up by a fucking Ankheg or two. Hello, Telman. Jeb's right. It's only a matter of time before we, uh, we, uh... <laughs> Why do you- you sound like someone who did a voice for, like, a side character in Animaniacs or some shit. Or literally, like, <laughs> the voice of Yakko, honestly. <laughs> uh, damn it, Jeb- Jebado, we can't go on like this forever. There's no way we can keep quotas up when we're afraid to come near the nets. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, how does this person sound? Can't you see I've troubles on my mind? Leave me and mine alone. He's all for sick in there, Jibbado. They're <laughs> rough looking, but maybe they can help us with the problem. Oh, yeah, the problem. Sorry for my manner, but we're uh, poor folk, not accustomed to trouble, and it's hard times now. We can't but get a good get a boat into the water before she's swamped by the rains. <laughs> it's that bitch Umberly. She's the one. <laughs> Steady, Tailman. 
What it means is we're being harassed by a priest of the bitch queen of <laughs> The guy with this voice saying that. <laughs> we don't even know why, but whenever we attempt to fish, she turns the water sour. Two of us were washed away just walking the docks, but we cannot prove to the guard it was her. We'd be needing someone to strong arm her into leaving us alone. We're not much money, but I'll gladly give you a magical weapon from my grandfather's adventuring days. It's a meager amount for your trouble, but it would be a great service to us. Will you help a group of poor fishermen? You're fishermen here? <laughs> I thought you were like farm ranchers or something with chickens and all that. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> your offer is fair. Consider it done. It's not worth my time, but with a little extra gold... Sorry, but I'm not interested. Man, did you hear your next door neighbor just had his son, like, fucked up and killed? <laughs> I don't know if you heard the word. <laughs> okay. Sure, consider it done. Ah, I knew we could depend on you to do what's right. She hides out near a small shack to the north. Watch your backs and act quickly. She's tricky. Good luck, brave friends. The Fisherman and the Priestess I have agreed to aid the fisherman north of the Friendly Arm by getting rid of a priestess of Umberly. They claim she has harassed and killed a number of them. She lives just east of the bridge to Baldur's Gate. Okay. I think we know of this place, too. Don't All right, let's me. continue looking around. Can we go inside of the... Oh, shit! Bandits! Go for the ice oh, no! For the Look out, fishermen! There we go. She's there, just coming out of the woodwork here, huh? There we are. Good. Take all this stuff. Oh, what is this? Friends. What the heck? What does this do? Oh my gosh, is this a complete DVD collection? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible. I never even really liked Friends. I was more of a Seinfeld guy. <laughs> Alright. A friend spell causes the wizard to temporarily gain six points of charisma. Those who view the caster tend to be very impressed with the spellcaster and make an effort to be his friends and help him, as appropriate to the situation. Officious bureaucrats might decide to become helpful, surly gate guards might wax informative, attacking orcs might spare the caster's life, taking him captive instead. Okay, cool. Let's see, can we hold that shit? No. Hmm. Who can we pass this shit off to? There we go. Do we know this? Man, I think it's out of our... level or something? Huh. Wait, who can learn this? Oh, because you're an invoker, I see. Aha. All right. Fascinating. Okay. Good to know, I guess. All right. What's our loadout situation look like? Can we, like, move some junk around a little bit here? Eh, barely. Okay. Am I still carrying around a bunch of scalps? Yeah, I guess. Gorion would be proud of your actions. Okay. You want it? Up here. Good. More of these. All right. That's everything, I think. Let's continue you looking around it. here. Got it. Gosh. 
The fucking bitch queen at it again. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I guess part of what makes it so funny is just how incongruous that is to like the vibe of Baldur's Gate, right? Like maybe the vibe of Baldur's Gate is actually like, this is a really like grim, dark kind of fantasy, like fucking watch out, bro. The fucking bitch queen is here to fucking ruin your day, killing your children all around their bods and everything. Shit's bleak as hell. The undead rise in the wilds. <laughs> The Iron Crisis, your own weapon will break in your hands, just like your own bones. <laughs> Maybe that's actually the vibe, and it's not this, like, fun, cheery, sort of goofy vibe at all. <laughs> Maybe that's the misread. Not Maybe the misread isn't like, oh, weird how Don't fucking bleak me. this is trying to get amid all the goofy, fun times. But more so, weird how I've got this. silly this is being amid all the horrific shit, right? I don't know. For me, it just it just reads as more lighthearted and comical. <laughs> it reads significantly more PG-13 <laughs> than certain parts of the game let on. All right, let's quick save I'm here. Gone. Or maybe even uh, more tame than PG-13, right? A silver necklace. Pop that into our fun gem bag. You want it? Get on out of here. It. Good. I've got this. Should we talk to each of them? Do, do you think they each have something to say? Jebedo? You again? Shit, I don't even remember how they sound. Have you done it? Have you killed the bitch? <laughs> the fuck? I'll have no more part in this. I don't trust any of you. No, we haven't killed her yet. Well, come back when you have. <laughs> okay, I think I remembered. Uh, Sonner is... Country Southern, Jebedo is more country Western, and Tellman is like a 1940s mobster. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good. I've got this. Some quaint little houses and stuff. Alright. If not for the Ankeg I menace just nearby. Imagine you're just sitting down for a nice dinner or whatever. Proud of your actions. Having some kind of, I don't know, roast that you rarely get every, like, you know, just once a year kind of fun thing. Have a nice roast. And all of a sudden a giant onkeg like erupts out of the floorboards. <laughs> crushes your entire house. Good God. <laughs> you want it? You got it. Smells the food or whatever. You want it? You got it. All right. Like, I mean, Christ's sakes, with the the giant fucking gaping hole right there, yeah, like, half of this zone, if not all of it, is covered in the holes underneath, right? <laughs> I guess this is where they fish, huh? Good God, I would not want to fish around here. Not with the fucking Onkeg Menace. Like, at least the farmers, you have some sort of excuse, right? Like we said, I believe it was... That they're good for the land, they like fertilize the land and all that, or till it in some way. Makes sense. But if you're a fisherman, fuck that. Maybe fish in some way benefit from that as well? I don't know how fish work. Or even how fish in like... The world of... I don't know. What What, what is this world called? The world of... <laughs> I guess we could say, like, the world of Baldur's Gate, or the world of Dungeons and Dragons. But what is this planet called? I don't know. Oh, man. I can't get over there. Huh. Okay. Is it even possible to do that? Let's see. Let's go on up this way. Oh, wait. There's a clearing right here. Maybe. Could be more trees. Yeah, more trees. Fair enough. Oh, well, look at this. Can we go over here? No, it's blocked off. All right. Worth checking. Okay. So can I actually enter here from the... No, because you would have to do it from the mine, and I don't think you can. Okay. Well, let's go to the gate. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. They got the full surround. All right. Let's blast them here. Good. 
Good. Holy shit. Okay. Pretty good. Don't worry about me. Alright, let's take all this stuff. Good. I don't even remember how much we got per scalp, honestly. Oh, another friend's one. <laughs> good thing they don't use that on us. Oh jeez, we have so many of these, we're full up completely. I guess I'll throw some trash arrows on the ground. Maybe it was only like 25 gold per scalp. Good god. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want it? Okay. It. Let's go on up here. Oh whoops, there is a necklace of some sort. There we go. Good. Yoink. And up here. We should probably rest in the wilds once we get here, too. Good. Or can we even rest here? Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Alright. Yeah, so we've got a few... This is probably the place that we need to go. So let's do that first, and then we'll circle around to the other section of the bridge. And then there should be a place if we click north on this tile. Ooh. A rarely heard tune. Oh, I enjoy it. Weren't there also onkegs up here? And maybe that's why we avoided it. Oh, shit. Oh, this is powerful. Okay. What's up? Are you the the queen bitch witch? I'm here to kill you. You return? I warn you once again to leave my home. If you do not, I must assume you are allied with my enemies. They did send me, but I wish only to know what is going on. It's true. They sent me to end your villainous deeds. I wish no enmity between us and will not disturb you further. I want to know what's going on. As cowardly as they are treacherous, hiring others to do what they could not. Tonight, I shall put an end to all this. The seas cry for vengeance. Oh, shit. Wait, so so are you actually, like, as sinister as they claim? It seems that way. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Why do you do this? Don't you know what they've done? Sunner and the others. They are the evil ones. They killed my mother, and now you help them? They... She only did her duty, collecting the offerings from those that would use the sea. They stole her elemental summoning ball and tortured her for the words that make it work. Now they all misuse a gift from Umberly to pillage the seas, and my mother's spirit can't rest until it is returned. I have more power than Mother had. Umberly gave me her anger, but I can't find the ball. All I can do is hurt them till they give it back or die. But I'm so tired. I don't have Mother's will, and the goddess is so demanding. Help me, please. Huh. Odd. I mean, you seem like a nice person. Except you worship... Like, isn't Umberly, like, sinister and evil as shit? Isn't Umberly, like, directly evil? Like, we already fucked over Umberly once before. Remember? For being just, like, evil as shit. Hang on, I'm gonna look this up real quick on my phone. Let's see. Umber... Just to make sure. Let's see. Oh, Forgotten Realms! Okay. Holy shit, what a cool picture. Yeah, she's chaotic evil. Which it does seem like it's fucked up what they did. But... <laughs> I mean, you're literally chaotic evil. <laughs> right? I don't know. 
Uh, what a, what a odd little distinction here, huh? Or a dilemma even. So like, her mom may have truly been like a fucked up person, right? Because she was very, very much helping Umberly in some way. I don't know. They misuse a gift to pillage the seas. Like they're both bad. They're both bad. Right? Because they tortured... Like, sure, they're evil as well. You know, they worship this evil goddess of the sea and all that and make use of her foul magic and shit. That's, that's sinister in and of itself. Like, hey, if you're a nice person, maybe you should recognize I need to stop this. <laughs> but also... The three of them are assholes as well because they tortured them, which is the wrong fucking way to go about it, and also used the gift from Umberly to pillage the seas, right? That's bad as well. They are both bad. Oh shit, I think we have an option here to also, like, just murder them both. Huh. Shh, child, I shall help as best I can. I don't trust you or Sunner's Bunch. You would say anything to save yourself. I'll not believe it. I don't trust either of you. You both suck. I shall deal with them myself then. It's no longer time for subtlety. Oh shit. What has happened? I got like floored. I have refused to aid Tenya in her fanatical search for vengeance. So it appears she no longer wishes my help. I fear for the safety of all concerned, but I trust none of them. Oh shit. How juicy. Where is our quest here? Is this alphabetized? It is, but our quest is not here. Let's see. Maybe C, D, E, F. Maybe it's under our journal? Is it? Could it be? All right, man named Molkar. Oh dear God! Here, Tenya. Well, do I need to click enter to search? Yeah, weird. Okay, because there was another update, right? There was one that flashed by really quick. Maybe it's under important events. No. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's the fisherman. Yeah, the fisherman and the priestess. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know what the first thing said. Maybe it just double flashed or whatever. Oh, because I killed her. Okay. Sure. Can we go over there and kill them, too? Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's take these bracers. Oh shit, we're full up. There we go. Identify. Do I have an ID scroll on me? Can I like use one of those up? Yeah, we've got two of them. All right. Here, let's get rid of... Fucking amen. Let's drop some heads. Move this up to me. Good. Take that back. And then... Open container. Identify. Where are you at? Is there a way to alphabetize this? Yeah. Good God. There it is. Okay. I want both of them. Oh, can I not? Okay. There we go. All right. Now if I do this by scroll, Bracers of Defense AC7, Garbo. All right. Don't worry about me. Man, listen to this music going. Jeez. Okay. Can we get in here? I guess we can. Let's quick save in case Don't there's like booby traps all over the place. You want it? You got it. Seems it. safe. It just looks like regular ass house. 
Okay. And when do you need to pick into these? Yes, you do. Good. Alright. What have we got inside? Money and stuff. Okay. We'll take it. More darts. We'll leave those. We've got, like, fun darts. Don't worry about me. Okay. Cool. I've got Let's continue up here. And we'll fast travel downward from here. Right, we- Oh shit, Onkek alert! Oh shit, I'm in like, ranged mode. I'm using my fucking darts. <laughs> okay. There we go. Eat shit, Onkeg. Good. Okay, another quick save, and let's travel up here. Good, and there's the last area. But let's head back down and check in on these dudes, right? The fishermen. Don't worry about me. Alright. Oh shit, Onkeg alert! Slay it! Oh shit, double Onkeg! Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! There we go. Okay, and when you come over and take this necklace, there we are. Oh shit, is this full now? Oh fuck me. Okay. I've got. It. <laughs> All right, it was only a matter of time. Okay. Over here. Good. Let's see. Any more fucking onkegs gonna pop up? Yep. Where is it at? Over there. Okay. Oh my god, there are a bunch. We're dead. We're dead as shit. Okay. Use your power! Onkeg's away! <laughs> uh, use your power again! Onkeg's away! Yeah, we did it. Okay. Onkegs are fucking babies. Alright, let's see. Do we want this? Detect invisibility? No, who would want that? You want it? <laughs> Will these things remain here forever? I wonder. Because you know, other items just stay around. Maybe only if uh, the player picks them up and drops them do they remain. Okay. Oh, sounds like something. Another Onkeg? No. Okay. Oh, they're gone! Where have they gone to? Are they up here fishing? Pillaging the sea? No. Okay. Let's see over here. Maybe they're inside? Could that be the case? Let's quick save. Let's just go in one at a time so we don't have to worry about the doors being fucking wild. Don't worry about me. Okay. Over here. Don't worry about Up me. in that. Good. Eh? Nope. I've got this. You want I think it? the quest you is resolved, it. right? Since we got the final update, I don't think- yeah. You want it? We'll have no you way to don't worry about me. kill them as well. Maybe if we had spared Tenya as she was going away, we could have gone over and see- well, then she probably would have lived as well, right? I don't know. Listen, you can hear the Onkeg chittering. Is that what that is? Is that it? I think it is. Okay. Let's go on up here. Do a quick save. Good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, still quite, uh... Flemmy. Gotta be said. Okay. Up and over. Good. Now, we still need to go check out the other end. Don't worry about me. Just to see. We'll scout ahead using our super speed. Oh, you know what? Actually, it would be quicker if we went to Baldur's Wanted Gate and then back back it. out, you know? Because we would arrive then from the western end of the tile. Right. Okay. Don't worry about me. Good. Genius. 
I've got this. Okay. Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I Chickens. Lovely. Well, it's already into the lineup here. Not even an onkeg. Okay. Sure. How about down here? Anything? Hmm. Looks like it's all clear. Well, it's kind of looping. Some formidable riverbanks on display. Oh my god, how far down does this go? Holy shit! It goes all the way to the bottom. Unfortunately, there's nothing whatsoever here. <laughs> Not even a secret, like, strange naked man to try and read me my fortune of the future and be like, Oh, I'll read you your fortune, young lady. Ha 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 ha, I'm a cool wizard guy here to tell you about your future. Oh, sure, here, read my future. Oh, no, something fucked up is happening. Ah, oh, I can't tell you what, though. <laughs> oh, they're a dime a dozen, aren't they? <laughs> All right, let's see. Over here, zombie. Oh, no. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. There we go. Good. Jeez, our range is falling back here. Alright. It's okay, though. It's just zombies. Yep. Medium-sized tile. Standard-sized, I guess, we should say. There we go. Have there been any overworld tiles that were, like, XL or small? I don't know. My blade will cut you down to I five. guess, you know, ones that are towns or whatever. Don't worry about me. Look at this, some kind of farm? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, zombie farm? What? These are zombie farmers. Okay. Cool. Anything else around here? We got like a nice stone wall or whatever. Very like rural European. What's oh, Wenrick? Okay. I remember driving over a whole bunch of those very beautiful stone cobbled walls in Forts of Four. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Wenrick, hello. Hello, pal. There's been something killing peoples in and round the farms here. Zombies or something. I can understand if you can't stomach the task, but just between you and me, real personal likes, I don't know who else is gonna do it. All of us have been going for a week now without sleep. We've counted 20 zombies or so, so keep track as you kill them. If that's what you plans on doing, once you got them all, come back here and I'll give you the 150 gold pieces that some of us have pulled together. Zombie infestation. A zombie infestation has been terrorizing the few settlers unlucky enough to own land by the river. An old farmer by the name of Wenrick has counted 20 of them and will pay me an impressive 150 GP if I can get rid every uh, get rid of every last one. Okay. Well, Don't I've not counted. Me. Okay. But I'm sure we can, you know, in our thorough search, we can be rid of them. Let's send Imowen inside here. See what they've got. Anything? Anything of interest? Nah. Alright. We'll pick through these, though, at least. Take the free money. Good. Alright. And over here. Good. Oh, a cloak. Okay. Well, shit. What the hell do I do? <laughs> uh, hmm. Dire Charm, Shocking Grasp. I guess I'll drop the necklace. I don't know if we have a cool cloak such as this. Alright. 
There we go. This way. Pass this over to dinner here. Oh, your inventory is also full. Let's get rid of Adventurer's Robe. Toss that on the ground. And let's transfer this over. Good. Do a quick ID. Cloak of Protection, plus one. And we don't really have a need for anyone to wear this, right? Yeah, you're, you've already got one. Okay. Fair enough. Oh shit, I should have ID'd via the scroll. Fuck me. Okay. We'll leave that, uh... Well, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here. Good. Up and around this way. Anything? Can we go through this, like, little fence? Nah. Do a quick save. I'm assuming zombies don't work. Like, how... Well, I, I don't know. How do zombies work in this world? In the Forgotten Realms? They work, I would assume, in that they are, like, magical in nature. Right? They are necromantic. So, you don't have to worry about, like, Oh no, these zombies are spreading a zombie plague. Some sort of science fiction plague to where they're, like, infecting people. Like, you get bit or something, or you're you're in an area that's got zombies and you get infected because it's, like, communicable via the air or something. Or you eat, like, a bad sandwich and it fucking gets you. I'm assuming zombies only come about by way of magic. Oh, shit. go good you want it you've got it all right yeah I'm not even gonna bother trying to count these zombies <laughs> I'll just assume you know that we'll be very thorough with our clearing oh look yeah we can't even click on any of these tile edges because we are truly at the end of the world here okay let's do a little bit of healing as well on to dinner here. Are we doing it? There we go. I got this. I got right. this. Can't save it this time. Why is that? Because it's storming or something? Are we like in combat with something? What in the world? I've got this. Don't worry about me. Weird. There we go. Worked that time. Maybe there was like a short period of cooldown after we casted the heal, right? Like it still counted as if we were in the middle of a I turn, executing a turn action or whatever. Go for the eyes, really Go for the eyes. All right. I gotta say, you know, these, these speedy time boots, they really are one heck of a time saver when it comes to running across the big open plains. Really good for scouting ahead. Got a zombie over here. Alright, let's get you. Oh shit, we can't go over to the other end? Huh. Okay. Go, go, go! Man, all of that is inaccessible? Don't really? Worry about me. There's nowhere on the stream we can walk? No, it doesn't look like it. I guess we could try once we go I to the beard. This. We could try and cross over to that area from the beard. And maybe we would get access to that end. But I'm not sure. Alright, did we kill all of them? We should be able to just talk to this dude, huh? Hey. Thanks! That's been real generous of yours. Maybe we can finally get a wink of sleep yet. Here's that 150 gold pieces we promised you. If we'd had more, we'd give them to you. Okay. A reward of 150 gold pieces for destroying 20 zombies seems a little low. Perhaps I should have bargained. I mean, they were poor farmers. Thanks for getting rid of the old zombies and stuffs. We really appreciate it and all. I wonder who the other people are that live here. Maybe it's just Wenric. 
just losing his fucking balls out here, losing his mind in a major way. All right, let's do a quick save. Let's see. We'll check out this fun beard place. Hopefully it's some sort of town, right? And I can pawn off and stow a whole bunch of trash. Would be quite nice. Can we actually cross over? Nah. Okay. Good. Look at that. We've explored and uncovered nearly every tile. Meow. Er, yeah. We've uncovered every tile and explored nearly all of them. Olgoth's beard. Oh, what the fuck is all this? What is all this? Okay. The village of Ulgoth's beard lies on the banks of the river Chianthar, just upstream from Baldur's Gate and the open sea beyond. The farm-dotted countryside is usually a peaceful haven from the turmoil of the Sword Coast, although of late the same cannot be said of Ulgoth's beard itself. The simple fishing village has become the source of many a rumor in recent days. Rumors of an ancient cult risen again. Unsubstantiated tales of a murderous creature stalking the night. And talk of strange goings on in the house of Chandelar. The powerful and eccentric mage who makes his home in the normally sleepy village. You have also heard with certainty that tours of the fabled Durlag's Tower operate from Ulgoth's beard, and that it is truly a place where adventurers can test their mettle. Perhaps such a test will better prepare you to fight the darkness that threatens to destroy the Sword Coast, and you with it. <gasps> oh my gosh. How was that? Was that, <laughs> that was my impression of the narrator. <laughs> Okay. Ulgoth boy. Hello, Ulgoth boy. Should we speak with Ulgoth boy real quick before you f fly on out of here? You funny looking. Mama says that adventurers are malorders, orc lovers that should be hunted down and killed like wolves. Cool. Great. Love it. <laughs> Great place already. I hope the thing that stalks the night doesn't show up and kill you. Fucking asshole kid. Do shy. Acquaintance I am glad to have made. I'm trying to meditate, adventurer. Come and see me later. Okay. Don't worry about me. Ike. Step right up. Step right up. <laughs> Step right up, folks, and hear the tale of dread placed before thee. Join with me as I, adventurer extraordinaire, Ike. Cascadian Vendor lead yet another group of brave souls through the very seat of danger in the realms. To Durlag's Tower we shall go and witness the perils that have taken the lives of hundreds of courageous men and women. See the horror of the treacherous traps. Feel the presence of the long languishing dead. Marvel at the wondrous wealth buried below. Not for the weak of spirit, as I will not be held accountable for any heart failure during or after our expedition. Step up, step up, one at a time. <laughs> ah, good people of noble blood who would throw down the gauntlet in the face of chance. Come see the lengths of a man of uh, come see the lengths a man must go to protect what's his. A special package deal for 60 gold for your entire group. Not that you would need a discount. You have a deal, sir. When are we to leave? Tis too much gold for my purse. Not interested in your adventuring tours, huckster. You have a deal. What? That will fill my quota for this trip. We leave forthwith. Remember to kiss your loved ones goodbye, and for you may never, s for you may never see them again. Meet me at the base of the tower. You would surely be killed without me, but fear not. Only I can enter where others fear to tread. What the fuck? I met a huckster. 
by the name of Ike was offering tours of Derlag's tower. It seems the venerable death trap has become a bit of a tourist attraction. I agreed to the tour. So, I should meet Ike by the tower as soon as possible. I'm sure it will be safe. They wouldn't walk people through if there was still a danger. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about Let's me. see. Oh, shit. It's Shondalar. Oh, <gasps> my God. I know of you. You are of an odd countenance, and I can count pretty darn high, too. I have need of you. What say you to this? I do not know who you are. Introduce yourself, and we shall see if I can help you. I have no time for you, old man. Whoever you are, I'd ask you to kindly get out of my way. I do not know what to say. I do not know you. I do not know you are what you intend. What? I do not know you are what you intend. Okay. Speak your mind, and then I will decide. Introduce yourself, and we'll see if we can help. I am Shandar, and I am the default benefactor of this place. My home is here, as are my major interests. I take interest in whoever comes this way, and you are very interesting indeed. I should like to I should like you to perform a task for me. A small thing, really, but something I do not have time for myself. I need you to go to another place and retrieve an item of mine. Very simple, and if you succeed, I think all the better of you. What say you to this? Uh, why do you need me for this task, when you seem more than capable? I will do as you ask. When will this need to be done, and where will I be going? I do not go out of my way for charity. Make it worth my while, or I will take it out of your hide. Will there be suitable reward for this task? Why do you need me to do this? I have other things that call my attention, so it is more convenient that you go. Besides, I know you're not, and this serves as a good measure of you. Already I know you are more interested in the why and not so much the profit. Will you do this? Not right now. I need time to prepare. I need time to prepare. Do not take long. This task needs attention soon. Okay. You want it? You got it. Let's see. What else do we have around here? Is there like a a shop? Chandelier's home. Ooh, goth boy. Okay. Can we go over here? That's nah, blocked off. There is an inn. Jesus. What was your name? Dels Verftanyan. Okay. We'll talk to you later. I'm I'm kind of making a beeline for a fucking shop or whatever. Yeah, I think we're shit out of luck. I guess we can Come check the me. inn. Adventure. Let's do a quick save. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? Hergen would speak at you, so listen up a moment or two. What? 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 Who was that other guy in the background? A merry band of heroes, you be. I have I got the adventure that'll make ye yearn for glory. I am Hergen Stoneblade, presently residing in Citadel Adbar. Well met. What adventures do you speak of? No offense, but we're not looking for a new adventure right now. I've no desire to speak with you, dwarf. What adventure do you speak of? A glorious adventure indeed. Ye have heard of Derlag's Tower, per mayhaps? I haven't come across the name before. I've heard of it, yes. It's a haunted tower to the south of here, is it not? It was haunted by me granddad's friend for a time. He went mad, you see. Derlag Troll Killer was a dwarven hero of great renown. Single-handedly slew a man many a dragon, he did. Me granddad's was a good friend of Derlag's. They adventured together until me granddad's untimely death 
several centuries ago. Go on. My granda was slain by an evil demon, but Durlag survived. Durlag kept Soul Taker. That had been my granda's. He was going to send it to my mother, but he was betrayed. A sad tale, that. After Durlag built the tower, his family was replaced by doppelgangers. Durlag killed them all, but was driven mad by the act. He entrapped his tower heavily and forgot about my granda's dagger. When I heard the story as a youth, I went to retrieve the dagger myself, but was driven back by Durlag's devious traps. If you be interested, I wish to hire ye to retrieve me granda's dagger, soul taker, me birthright. The tower has been penetrated somewhat by previous adventurers. I would think that the edge has been taken off of the danger. What say you? Perhaps we should speak of compensation. I'm not interested at this time. I will find your dagger if I am able. If I'm able, I'll find it. Good fortune to ye, then. I shall await your return here. Okay. Hergen's stone blade has... What? <laughs> Who is this other person talking? <laughs> All right. Recovering Soul Taker, Hergen Stoneblade has asked me to enter Durlag's tower and retrieve an enchanted dagger called Soul Taker, a family heirloom. My gosh. Jeez, I hope there's no, uh... What the fuck? I hope there's no, like, weird... Cyberspace embodiments of any, like, long-assumed dead rock stars inside of this Soul Taker dagger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we need to talk to this drunk dude. Well, now I'll talk to you if you want. <laughs> my wife, <laughs> my wife, says that I Cascadian vendor made a pass at her. I'd break his spine if my wife says it. Everyone makes a pass at her. I'd even go so far as to believe her if she wasn't so ugly. Of course, I ain't no foppish no woman myself. Why am I telling you this? Thanks, commoner. Very cool. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, bartender. You want some whiskey? If you have a good coin to spend, I can set you up with whatever you need. I have all that an adventurer may need. What can I get for the lot of you? Uh, that would depend. What do you have? Can I sell a whole bunch of shit to you? Uh, I can sell a little bit of shit. I can sell a little bit of shit. Do you have anything of interest here? Mental domination. 35 healing potions. Ooh. Ooh, what are these? Cloak of displacement. The cloak of displacement is a magical item that causes subtle shifts in the imagery of its wearer. It has the power to actually shift an individual's image by as much as six inches in any direction from their actual location. Honestly, pretty good for, you know, fighting. <laughs> six inches, you know, doesn't sound that impressive, but pretty good when it comes to fighting. Uh, aside from being an, an effective defense in combat situation, it has also been the cause of serious eye strain amongst fellow party members. Fair enough. Yeah, look at all this. Okay. Fascinating. Fairly cheap stuff here, right? Yeah. Aul's staff, plus three. This finely crafted staff was among the spoils taken from invaders of Derlag's tower. It is very deadly in combat and was apparently the property of a spellcaster that enjoyed standing on the front lines. It appears to have a core of iron yet is comparable in weight to a normal weapon of its type. Part of the enchantment seems to come from the hide that strengthens the grip. Leather, no doubt, made from a battle-ready creature of some sort, with the tastes and inclinations of the attackers of the tower well documented. The hide could be almost anything. Or anyone. Oh, no! <laughs> It's made from Durlag himself! What the fuck? Oh, my granda. <laughs> the captive audience. Gregan's harp. 
the captive audience. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Sorry, I'm just in a mood to do some dumbass voices today, I guess. All right. This finely made harp is well known among the nomadic peoples of the East, though more for the infamy of its owner, Gregan of Low Hill. He was a bard of sorts, though less for his love of people than his hatred of hard work. He bade a mage relation cons- construct this harp so its magic might disguise his utter lack of talent in the arts. Its power was greater than he had hoped, and he later turned to petty burglary using his music to captivate his victims. I feel like music should be the one in quotes. Gregan ultimately disappeared some years ago amidst rumors of a bardic college uncharacteristically uncharacter- moved to violence. The harp still functions, though any self-respecting troubadour would reserve its use for the most dire of circumstances. The magic seems to be waning as well, and perhaps this is one item best lost to time. Right, it has charges, it's waning. Usable only by bards, blades, gestures, and scalds. Why a blade, though? Maybe I don't know what a blade entirely is. Wand of Heavens. Shoots a big thing of fire. Fair enough. Sand Thief's Ring. Ring of Invisibility. Ring of Invisibility. Sand Thief's Ring. Held by a master thief for the better part of a generation. This ring was put to bold use in the markets of Waterdeep. Working a crowd in broad daylight, the rogue would steal countless numbers of purses for nobles. Oh, I thought they stole sand. Replacing them with bags of sand so the theft would go unnoticed. His identity was never known, but the name Sand Thief was cursed loudly in its stead, for in order to obtain all these bags of sand, he had to rob a beach. (laughs) No, it is rumored he retired and now lives among the nobles he used to rob. Invisibility, as per the namesake spell. Right. Charges. Greenstone Amulet. The deep green stone at the center of the amulet seems to shimmer with an iridescent light, almost as if it has a life of its own. Even without the powerful magics that are bestowed upon the amulet, it would be an extremely valuable addition to any collection. All right, a charge ability. This amulet confers the wearer protection against charm, confusion, fear, domination, ESP, detect alignment, hold, stun, psionic, sleep, and feeble mind, much like the eighth wizard spell Mind Blank. However, the protection spell... The protection effect uses one charge each time it is used and will only last for one turn. Now, this is actually a charge item that seems fairly useful, right? A lot of these charge items, especially ones that just deal damage or whatever, I feel like, eh, do I really need them? I'm not even, like, maybe if we were on, like, ultra high difficulty or whatever. But this one... Its ability to make you immune to all this shit seems pretty useful, especially since I'm fairly certain you can't normally have access to 8th level wizard spells in this game, right? Fascinating. That said, I don't like how when you're, like, browsing these charged items to buy, you have no idea how many charges they have. The only way to find out is to, like, quick save and then buy it and then find out. All right. If anything, maybe we'll buy, like, shit, I don't know. Some healing potions, or a cloak of displacement, maybe. I don't know. Still, we can sell off a few things here. Maybe we should do that in between videos. Let's get some drinks. Any rumors? Any weird rumors here? Probably nothing. Evermead. Iron's so scarce these days, you'd think it was valuable as gold. Not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Ain't going to be long before no one can afford to be well-equipped. What will the guards do then? Okay. Well, what can you do? Let's rest. There we are. Good. All right. I suppose when next we come back, we will continue our investigations around town. We'll speak with Chandelar. I'll hopefully sold off a whole bunch of junk in in between videos just as well. We also have this Gulkin dude here who we need to speak with. Explore some more parts of this inn. Hopefully, hopefully Chandelar does. <laughs> hopefully, Chandelar isn't too impatient, right? Seemed as if that was a bit of a pressing matter, but hopefully, we were fine to rest here. 
<laughs> Maybe it was just a figure of speech, you know, like, oh, this is timed. Or like, oh, I'm in a hurry, but it's not actually timed. Right. Anyway, until next time, please take care of each other. Thank you.